Jordan and homecoming is coming up so I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys some of my favorite homecoming hairstyles and these are just three hairstyles that I came up with and I think they're really pretty and perfect for homecoming or really any school event like maybe winter formal or even prom or like anything you want this can really be modified for but since homecoming's coming up I just felt like this would be perfect for homecoming and so I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get started so I first started by having my hair already straightened because my hair naturally is like a lion. <laughs> Next I'm just spraying it with some more heat protectant and then putting on a heat protectant glove. And I'm using my GHD curling wand and this is kind of an oval curling wand but you can use any curling wand that you'd like. And I'm sectioning off my hair and then curling my hair in really small about one inch sections. And I love the way this looks. It just gives a little wave or curl in your hair and it just looks really pretty and elegant. So you could leave it down just as it is and add some hairspray in your hair and it would last the rest of the night. But if you wanted to do a hairstyle, then here is how I did my half up, half down hairstyle. So first I'm sectioning off a side of my hair, but I'm leaving a little section down in the front just to kind of frame my face. And then the section that I'm taking back, I'm just going to be braiding that all the way down to the very end. And then securing it with a mini hair elastic. And then I'm going to be doing the same exact thing to the other side. And then I'm just going back through the braid and kind of pulling out and tugging on each little end just to make it a little bit bigger and fluffier. And I just like the way fuller braids look better. So after that comes the fun part where you get to literally tie your braids into a knot. So I'm just taking them behind my head and I'm tying them into a double knot basically. If your hair is shorter and it works better to only do one knot then you can totally do that. That works fine but um, my hair is kind of longer so I decided to do a double knot and then I'm going to be taking each end of the braid and tucking it behind the braid that is already there as you can see and I'm just going to be using bobby pins to secure that in place and just trying to tuck it in and hide it the best that I can. And once your braid is hidden then that is literally it it's so easy and I think it looks so cute now this next hairstyle is for those of you who are feeling a little bit more edgy and want to put all of your hair to one side so this is actually pretty easy and all I'm doing is after I already made a side part I'm taking the smaller section of the side part and I'm sectioning that off then with the hair that's left I'm just going to be doing a simple inside out braid if you don't know what that is there's lots of tutorials on YouTube but it's basically a French braid but kind of inverted so instead of going inwards for a French braid you're going to be taking the hair pieces and putting them outwards so I'm pulling as tightly as I can and taking small sections from either side of my hair when I'm doing this braid and then I'm going to be braiding all the way down to the very end and now to secure this braid in place I'm going to be finding a small section from behind the opposite ear and I'm going to be tying the braid to the section behind my opposite ear with a small elastic and this just keeps the braid out and away from your face and once you secure it you could leave your hair as it is or you can add a little bit extra volume which is what I like to do so I just teased up my hair just a little bit but once you get it the way that you like then make sure you add hairspray and it's all good to go and it'll last you the entire night and I think it looks so cute. And for my last hairstyle, this is just a simple updo. And all you will need for this is a thin, stretchy headband. Use a color that will kind of blend in with your hair enough. All you're doing is you're taking that headband and you're placing it on top of your head like a crown. And then before you start wrapping hair around it, I'm just taking about four or five sections in my hair and I'm just braiding those sections. You can do some small braids, some bigger braids, whatever you want. It's totally up to you. It just adds a little bit more texture to the hairstyle. So once you finish the braids, basically you're just taking a few sections and you're wrapping them around the headband and then you're adding a little bit more hair to the sections then wrapping that around the headband as well. And you're just continuing this till you get the, to the back of your hair. You can twist some of the sections as you do it as well. So as you can see, I'm just doing this to both sides and and once I get to the back of my hair, I'm combining the sections and then flipping them around together with like this little hole that I created in the center of them as you can kind of see. And once I got to the end of the hair, I'm just using some bobby pins and securing it in. As you can see, I left a few sections in the front of my hair just to frame my face, but then I realized I wanted some of that to be put back. So all I'm doing is I'm 
lightly twisting that and then kind of placing it on the top of my crown kind of and bobby pinning that in but yeah this one is really hard to explain i think it's easier just to watch it than have me explain it hopefully you guys get the idea of what I'm trying to show you, but make sure to tell me in the comments which hairstyle you like the best. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, which you can do by clicking this button right here. Also tell me which hairstyle was your favorite today, if you like the updo, the one to the side, or the half up half down one, because I can't decide I like them all. But I hope this video helped you out if you are struggling to cope with the hairstyles for homecoming or any school event. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye.